Welcome everyone to the latest edition of the Marianapolis Athletic Department Alumni Interview Series. My name is Andrew Vitale, and I'm the Director of Athletics at Marianapolis. And today I'm here with Marianapolis Class of 2018 and Clarkson University baseball player, Peter Ruzzo. Peter, thank you for taking the time to talk to me today. Thanks for having me. All right, Peter, let's get right to it. Uh, tell us why you chose Clarkson two years ago and what has it been like for you at the school outside of the baseball program? Um, well, I would say I would say Clarkson was just the right fit for me. Um, I was I was all for academics first, and I realized that Clarkson was a top 50 business program in the, nationally, and that kind of caught my attention, um, which is perfect for me because I'm studying finance. Um, and then for baseball, I think the coaching staff just made it clear to me that they they thought I could come to this team and contribute in my four years. I had some other offers to play elsewhere, but I think at Clarkson. Um, they really wanted me to come and I, I saw that I could contribute to this team and hopefully win a championship. Um, outside of baseball, I'd say, you know, it's a tough school to get used to, but, you know, with the winters and it's really cold all the time. Sometimes I was walking to class, it could be negative 10 degrees out or something. But um, I definitely made some friendships and I think uh, it's a nice little school and I'm, I'm happy to be here. So you're one of the few collegiate baseball players uh, to come from Marianapolis. So give us a little insight into your typical, into a typical year for you in terms of baseball uh, at the collegiate level. Well, I'll be heading back uh, about mid to late August and um, a week after I get back, we'll be going right into our fall season. That lasts until about November. So uh, due, to, due to like NCAA rules, we can only play one game against another school, but We'll be doing practicing every day, probably two to three hours a day. Um, and I think that's just the best time for us to get, kind of, you know, get used to the incoming freshmen, um, develop some team chemistry as we look forward to the 2021 season. Um, once November hits, it's we have a winter break up until February. We're not uh, allowed to practice with any coach, uh, coaching staff. So we'll be do, putting some work in on our own, on, on our own um, in the gym, hitting three to four times a week. And uh, it's really a grind, you know, I'm, I try to work out almost every day and hit as much as I can with my schedule. But it's just because it's D3 doesn't mean it's not a grind, you know. And by the time February hits, that's the toughest month for me mentally because uh, it's, it's still cold out. You know, we're just starting practicing. And uh, it's just a month of indoor practice to get ready for our season. But once, you know, March comes around, we head to Florida for spring training. And... Um, from there on, it's kind of smooth sailing. We we go right into our season. We play uh, every week, and that's what it's all about. It's just having fun and trying to win some ball games, and you know, ultimately a championship. You were able to gain some good experience during your freshman year and, and getting to play and start in a few games. What was that first year like for you, um, and what did you learn the most during your freshman season? Well, I'll tell you what I learned the most is that um, you can't be going into a collegiate baseball team expecting to be like the star player or anything. You you kind of have to, you know, learn the ropes from the older guys. Um, I was in a class of about 12 other with 12 other freshmen. And uh, I'd say only one or two of them got consistent time all year. Uh, I was an out, I'm an outfielder. So when I got there, I realized that there were 12 other outfielders on the team. And I was the youngest guy on the roster. So it was going to be a challenge for me to be able to um, secure a starting spot that year. But in the first half of the season, I played well because it's all non-conference games. That was my time to kind of show who I am as a player. And um, I recorded my first hit, first extra base hit, first RBI. I led, I think I led the freshman in R RBIs that year. But um, yeah, I think it was just good to get the, that year under my belt. and. Uh, it definitely prepared me and it showed me how much different the college level was from the high school level. So your 2020 season uh, was cut short in two ways uh, with injury and then with COVID-19. Uh, talk about the 2020 season for you and tell us how your rehab is going from your injury. Yeah, I was, I was really excited to play this season, um, but unfortunately a week before uh, the season started, I ended up 
breaking a bone in my left wrist. Um, it was just a byproduct of, uh, you know, swinging too many times and working out and it just kind of wore out and it ended up being broken. I also had a tear in my, in the left wrist. So I was planning on redshirting anyway, regardless of if this virus happened, but once it did happen, I found out that, you know, everybody on the team is going to get an extra year of eligibility. So I wasn't too upset about that. Um, and yeah, I think, uh, we, as a team, we went down to Florida. Um, we got to the airport. It was pretty funny because we got there and then we, we saw all these other teams, right. And then they're just turning around. They were headed down to Florida, but they turned right back because they're getting calls from their schools saying we can't be traveling. Cause I was right when the virus was, was, uh, starting to get prominent. Um, but we got, we got down there. We got about eight games in. I traveled, I traveled with the team and, uh, we were one of the last four teams down there out of the whole complex. There was like probably 20, 30 fields there where there was only two fields in use the whole week. And we were one of the, one of the teams. So, um, but yeah, I think it was good to get to know the freshmen and I think we're, we're ready for, a uh, a, a successful year this coming year. Perfect segue into my next question. Now heading into your uh, junior year, uh, but obviously now we know your sophomore year eligibility wise. Um, what will you be hoping for next year, both for the team and you personally? Um, I think personally, I'm ready to secure a starting spot on the team, probably in corner outfield. Uh, and I think I can help my team get to um, another Liberty League championship. We got there freshman year. Unfortunately, we lost uh, in the championship to the University of Rochester, but um, I think we're in store for a very successful year. And um, I think just from all my hard work, I'll be able to uh, have a serious impact on the team this year. You played three years of baseball at Marianapolis, coming to Marianapolis as a sophomore. How did the baseball program prepare you for the next level? Um, I would say uh, that, well, I transferred in as a sophomore and I had three years of playing time there. And I was very grateful to be able to play at Marianapolis. Um, and I think once I became a junior and senior, you know, sort of our best players were starting to graduate and uh, move on to college. So I feel like I had to take a, a bigger role on the team, kind of take the reins, even if I, even if I wasn't a, uh, a captain per se. But I was uh, probably the uh, one of the most important parts of the team, and I think that just kind of taught me to be a leader behind the scenes and um, just kind of work with my teammates, develop chemistry, and because uh, once you know once you get to college, you're a freshman all over again, and uh, you have to start from square one. So it's kind of the good with the bad, and I think um, I learned a lot from Marianapolis overall, and I had fun with it. When you think of your uh, when you think back on your time playing baseball at Marianapolis, what are some of those positive and fun moments that pop into your mind uh, playing on those teams? Um, well, for sure, when when I was a senior, when we got to the uh, the NEPSAC Elite Eight, that was something we you know we we hoped for, but we weren't exactly expecting, and it was just great to even be there um, with such a great group of guys and. Uh, I'd say also I, when I won MVP, that was something special to me because it gave me a big confidence boost going into college. Um, and some other fun memories, I would, I would just say being with the team after games, you know, on the bus rides, going to get food, McDonald's, stuff like that. Because that was the time when we really bonded the most. And, um, and I'll never take for, take for granted uh, my time at Marianapolis and I respect uh, the program there, and I hope I wish them the best in the future years. You are now two years removed from your time in Marianapolis. Uh, what are some of your favorite memories of the school, and some of the things that you miss the most? Um, well, I would say first of all that uh, Marianapolis, you know, prepared me for college like no other school could. You know, just with the, at least academically, because. Um, just the workload there and it, taking the AP classes that prepared me for college. And I was expecting college to be really difficult by the time I got there. It was really actually easy to me because of uh, all the work I did at Marianapolis and I owe that to the teachers and uh, the staff there. Um, 
some of the things I missed the most, I would say just how tight knit of a community it was. I always say that the baseball team was kind of like a microcosm of the of the community because uh you know everyone's so welcoming friendly and uh it just makes you feel at home it's a nice little school um and yeah i just i i have a lot of fond memories of the school i have a lot, a lot of buddies there a lot of friends and um like i said i'll never take it for granted well said, Peter. Uh, thank you for taking the time uh, to do this today. We hope that you and your family continue to stay safe, uh, and we look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.